back in the afternoon here. Um, this is the second project for the day. Uh, sun's in your face just a little bit. But uh, it's a busted, uh, busted limb up in this maple tree. It's been up there for quite some time. Um, walk around this way. Maybe you can see it just a little bit better. You can see it right there. So we're going to climb up there and take that out. I done got me a rope up in there. Got the good old Rope Runner Pro in there, installed, ready to go. So we'll see you at the top. We'll cut that out of there, bring you guys along. Thanks for watching. Well, been a minute uh, since I've been DRT. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, let me swing over here. Let me go over here. Joe, you're right about that. Feel the burn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. All right, Joey, I'm all right now. I'm okay. I don't need it. Thank you, though. I got a cheater. Yeah. I can still do it. <laughs> I guess it, I guess that was funny. I, I try to go the easy route. SRT is a lot easier, folks. <sighs> yes, YouTube. Looking into climbing choose to learn SRT first but you need to know the principles of DRT for sure Whew, Joey's about to learn now ah, break time we'll catch up in a minute I gotta catch my breath YouTube all right YouTube breaks over playtime begins I'm kind of get some of this weight off there maybe we'll keep that attached up there the best we can let's see how it goes here Chris, no. You're too far underneath it. It'll fall on top of you at that point. No. That's what I just told Joey. I don't want that. I'll try to approach it in the safest manner. This way, Joey can't get away from it. Huh? What's holding this that loom right there? You know, uh, it's, yeah. That limb's dead. I mean, if you want to cut it off, Joe, it's up to you, man. Whatever you want to do, buddy. You know, I mean, the steel and power right there, that makes this whole thing go a lot. Yeah. Before we cut that, let me get this cut up here done, though, maybe first. Or I can relieve this other branch here and see, uh, see how that works out for us. Very nice. Let me relieve 
this over here. Let me swing over and get this one. Let me make sure I'm still on here. Where's the old twirl around, Joy? No twirl around. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. couple of relief cuts here. Try to get some of this out of here. Alright, Joy? Chris, actually bring it around over here. I need to redirect it all. Bring it right over here. Tie it just right in the bite of that rope, okay? No slip knot. Be sure to take all that stuff with you when you leave. Leave the rope back there. Come on, Chris. Chris. I 
need somebody on this rope. Pulling it this way here. Chris, this way, bud. I kind of want to hold on with that saw today. I kind of want to explain my cut here and why I do this. Uh, it's a maple, silver maple. Acer saccharinum, I do believe. Um, I kind of leave a little bit of a high boot on here. I mean, this isn't really typically a uh, reduction cut because it's not one third the diameter, parenting stem, blah, blah, blah. But the way I look at it is I leave a little bit of room for some kind of cotton to kick in, but we all know that this is going to hollow into a cavity. Um, but the way I'm looking at it is if we got a cavity up here, at least we got a foot or so of good cavity that can cavity out before it actually gets into the parenting stem and causes decay on this major lead up here. So I try not to cut right here because big wound, major lead, a lot of weight, you know, storms, wind, end up with problems like this. So tell me what y'all think in the comments. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you guys like the content, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks. I don't know. I'm going to give this dying little branch a chance. I think I'm going to leave it. Even though he's, yeah, even though he's curled into the branch. <sighs> Pruning says cut him off, but you know what? He's the healthiest branch of the tree. <laughs> We're going to leave him on YouTube, promote trees.